Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to a new video. So today's video is going to be a collective haul of all the things that I have accumulated for the past month. So I have a little bit of fashion and a little bit of beauty going on as well. So it will be a good mix of things. And if you're watching this video, I will film my annual holiday giveaway right after this one. So it will be up before this goes up. So be sure to click up here and check out the giveaway. This giveaway will be the first of two giveaways that I'm having this year. So I really wanted to do something nice this year since the times are pretty different and pretty hard for everybody. I will leave a link down below as well. And also be sure to give this video a thumbs up that would really help me out. And without further ado, if you want to see what I have been shopping, then please keep watching. So I have been going to a lot of different stores. Some of these things I actually bought in Denmark like two or three months ago. I wanted to wait until I had a few more pieces to show you. So the first thing that I picked up is this t-shirt. So this is just a plain t-shirt and I got it for 10 bucks. It was on sale so I grabbed it because you can never have enough white t-shirts. And I really love the gold and black font on this as well. I think it looks very chic. But if I can find any of these items I will leave them down below as always. Ways, so be sure to check out the down bar. So next I also picked up this pair of pants and these are actually from the brand Second Female and these were also actually on sale so it was originally $120 but I got it for $34 which is a steal in my opinion. So these has like a champagne color to them and I just love the color. I have been so into white, beige, neutral colors. So it has this elastic waist right here and I have been so into pants like like these ones so I'm just loving these pants and I can't wait to wear them now that I finally have unpacked them and I think these will be perfect for the holiday season as well with a cute black top or a blazer or anything you can style these up you can style them down so next I also picked up this package from Hugo Boss which is the regular fit crew neck t-shirts and as you can see this is the man version so I picked up these size medium because I love to have a little bit of an oversized loose white t-shirt when I'm wearing black jeans and stuff so I feel like these are a little bit more oversized and I can never have enough white t-shirts so next up I also picked up up a pair of shoes and these I actually picked up in Denmark as well and I got a great deal on them I think I paid like $49 so here you can see the shoes that I picked up and I have always wanted to get a pair of these ones and I think they are so cool I love the heel on these ones as well because it is a little bit thicker so it will make me a little bit taller which I always love and I also love the color it's not white it's more like a cream beige color so these are called a disruptor low and this is in the shade antique white and I am just obsessed I can't wait to wear these and I can't believe it actually took me this long to grab one pair but now I have one I will try them out see if I love them and then I will go and get some more colors if they are very comfortable so next I also just picked up a plain black top these are so comfortable I always buy them when I am in Denmark at the store called Bilka because the fabric is so soft and I love these so you can never have enough of the basic pieces in your wardrobe. So last but not least in the fashion category I also picked up this Fila underwear one pack woman bra in white. I love these. I am a sucker for the Calvin Klein ones. I wear them all the time. I can't wear a bra. When I'm at home I'm not a bra person at all. I'm always in these ones and I think they are so much more comfortable and stuff. So I haven't actually tried out any underwear in this brand but hopefully these are as good as the Calvin one. So I'm excited to try these out as well. So that was all the fashion related items that I have accumulated for the past month and now let's dig into the more makeup related things. So to start off I have some products from Jeffree Star that I quick wanted to go through. So the first thing that I picked up is this gloss from the Orja collection and this is called The Gloss by Jeffree Star Cosmetic and this is in the shade Silk Rope and the container is so cute. I'm actually living for the packaging. This is so up my alley, so cute. 
And this is also the gloss that I have on today. I just couldn't help myself. I just had to try it out. And I actually also used this for my wedding. So if you have seen my wedding pictures, this is the gloss that I am wearing on that picture. Then I also picked up another gloss. So this is just an original D gloss and this is in the shade Control Free. So as you can see, this has the original packaging and this is a lot more pink than this one. This is a more like a nudish brown and I am obsessed with this one so it actually doesn't have a lot of color it comes out very natural so this is a very sheen color it doesn't have a lot of pigment to it but I think it will look beautiful on top of every light pink lip so if you can get a good deal on these ones they are absolutely worth it they don't feel heavy on the lips they're not sticky at all then I also picked up a regular liquid lipstick in the shade birthday suit so this is not a limited edition as you can see it has a beautiful like peachy pink tone and I am obsessed with colors like these ones and I really wanted to get my hands on this. She only knew that I didn't have it in my collection so therefore I just had to grab it when they had a good deal on it. Next I also picked up the Magic Star Luminous Setting Powder in the shade Natural and I am so excited to try this out. I think the packaging looks gorgeous. So I already have the originally loose setting powder and I love it. I feel like it sets everything. Your makeup will not move but once I saw that he came out with a luminous one I really wanted to try it out and get my hands on it because I'm all about that luminous glowy skin at the moment especially now for winter and last but not least from Jeffrey, I picked up this palette right here and here you can see all of these shades that it comes with and this is like the perfect nude palette in my opinion I am obsessed with this one I love it I use it for my wedding look as well this has become my day-to-day -day regular palette I love 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 it so much. Next I also picked up another one of the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is my favorite. I picked up the shade 3.5. So here we can see how it looks like. I'm sure you've seen it. This has been around for a long time. Since the day I tried it out it has been my everyday go-to foundation so I really wanted to get a new one. Definitely one to check out. I love it so I picked up a backup. Next I also picked up is this Glam Glow Water Burst Hydrating Glow Moisturizer. Here you can see the packaging it looks so cute so regular glam glow so this is supposed to give you a little bit of glow but also hydrate and i'm wearing it today let me tell you when you apply it it is so thin and it absorbs so quickly so i can't wait to see how this will wear throughout today and for the next couple of weeks next i also picked up the anastasia beverly hills dewy set setting spray this i'm sure you've seen it took me a while to grab it because it actually came to norway not that long ago i feel like everything comes out in the us a lot earlier and then we get it like six months later but anyway i now have it so once i'm done using my ysl high hydrating setting spray I will go over to this guy hopefully it is as good as I imagine so next I also have a little something from MAC this is the hyper real glow palette and this is the get lit version so as you can see these are pretty light but I'm very interested in this highlighter right here and also the pink one to add on top of my eyeshadow or on top of a blush I think it will look so cute so I can't wait to try these out as well I haven't actually tried any of the highlighter palettes from MAC yet because I am loving my extra dimension ones next I also picked up a pair of lashes these are the Ardell professional naked lashes these remind me a lot of the double Demi Visbys which I love from Ardell as well so hopefully these are just as good so I picked up a pack of those then I finally got my hands on the e.l.f. poreless putty primer this was on everybody's lips last year and I can't believe it took me so long to actually find it every time I went to their website it was sold out but I guess waiting patiently pays off because now I finally have it I can't wait to try it out in my next tutorial as well so I picked up three lips lipsticks from LA Girl and these are the matte flat velvet lipsticks. So these were actually some of the first lipsticks I started to collect back in the days like six years ago and I was obsessed with these ones. So I picked up Hush which is like a pinkish nude. Then I also picked up the Ooh La La which is like a very nude pink and last but not least I picked up Snuggle which I think will be my favorite a little bit of a brownish mauvey nude and I will 
add one of these to my upcoming giveaway so be sure to keep an eye out and last but not least I also picked up the Revolution Makeup Revolution London Conceal and Hydrate Concealer it says medium to full coverage and I have never tested out an radiant hydrating concealer that is also supposed to be full coverage. So I'm pretty excited to test it out. So I got the shade 0.3 in this one. So that was every single thing that I have accumulated for the past month. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please let me know down below if you have tried out any of these products, what you think, if you love them, hate them. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new and you haven't subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button right away so you will not miss out of my huge holiday giveaways. And without further ado, I love you guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! Mwah.